Our Angel Friends and Guardians, March 14. Are they not all ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Hebrews chapter 1, 14. The plan by which alone man's salvation could be secured involved all heaven in its infinite sacrifice. The angels could not rejoice as Christ opened before them the plan of redemption, for they saw that man's salvation must cost their loved commander unutterable woe. In grief and wonder, they listened to his words as he told them how he must descend from heaven's purity and peace and come in contact with the degradation of earth to endure its sorrow, shame, and death. The angels offered to become a sacrifice for man, but an angel's life could not pay the debt. Only he who created man had power to redeem him. Yet the angels were to have a part to act in the plan of redemption. Christ was to be made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, Hebrews 2.9. As he should take human nature upon him, his strength would not be equal to theirs, and they were to minister to him, to strengthen and soothe him under his sufferings. They were also to be ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who should be heirs of salvation. They would guard the subjects of grace from the power of evil angels and from the darkness constantly thrown around them by Satan. Angels are ever present where they are most needed, with those who have the hardest battles with self to fight and whose surroundings are the most discouraging weak and trembling souls who have many objectionable traits of character are their special charge. That which selfish heart would regard as humiliating service, ministering to those who are wretched and in every way inferior in character, is the work of the pure sinless beings from the courts above. All the angels of heaven are united in the work of bringing to man the infinite treasures of the better world. God and Christ and the heavenly angels are fighting with you. In the strength of the Redeemer, you can be more than conquerors.